Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are talking right now with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com, previewing a bunch of the most interesting games from Week 8 in college football. Right now we're going to take a look at Oklahoma State TCU. Joe Duffy, thanks for being back with us. All right, thank you, Peter. All right, before we uh, hear your thoughts on this, uh, another interesting matchup at Interesting Line with some movement. Uh, give a quick plug for OffshoreInsiders.com. Tell everyone what your site's all about when you're not doing vids with me, when you're focused and giving your best bets of the week. Uh, yeah, another 4-2 uh, and two weekend in the NFL with premium plays. That includes 4-0 and oh with games against the spread. Got a big weekend up. By the way, we continue to dominate Thursday night football. 27 years of winning, unprecedented <laughs> in the history of this business. I don't think it's ever going to be matched now at OffshoreInsiders.com. All right, Joe, uh, Oklahoma State TCU. Now, this line is kind of all over the place. You know, I check the lines before every call at SBRodds.com. And uh, what I saw was at seven, seven and a half, and nine were widely available. Nine was actually hanging at multiple places, and so was seven. So uh, that's kind of interesting. Why didn't one of those places just move it to eight? But that's what the widely available line is currently. So uh, that's what you're going to get for the purpose of this video. The line is down uh, no matter what from uh, an opener of nine, nine and a half. And TCU, of course, off of the huge high scoring um, Close loss to Baylor. They did get the cover in that one, though, and they're now 5-0 and against the spread on the year. Oklahoma State coming off of kind of a lackluster game against Kansas. They beat them, but uh, just by seven, and they were a big favorite there. And the question is just, uh, you know, how much has uh, TCU's recent games taken out of uh, taken out of them? You know, the close loss to Baylor, the close win against um, Oklahoma. And I thought that uh, at this line, at nine and a half, I, I thought Oklahoma State was the right side. I did bet it. I think I might have even uh, bought it up to 10. And at seven, seven and a half or nine, even at seven, I think I'd still lean Oklahoma State. You agree, Joe Duffy? No, we, we actually do. In fact, you stole a, a lot of my thunder. Okay. Uh, this is really the famed Joe Duffy bubble burst theory. This is one pick that I'm doing with you this week that almost certainly is, in fact, it is going to be a premium play unless mm. I find some some last-minute information that talks me out of it. But this is one that almost definitely will be a premium play, the famed Joe Duffy bubble burst theory, where Oklahoma State, they were a legitimate possibility for a national championship and a, uh, the, the playoffs, and then they're off of that heartbreaking loss mentally and physically. I mean, how can they not be spent? And as you said, it was the week after such a big, big, big win. So give them credit. They were able to come back with a great effort off of a big win, but now they got to do it. A big win followed by such a heartbreaking loss is really just a, uh, a tough spot here. And uh, Oklahoma State, remember their only loss, and yeah, that was a both a premium, I think it was a premium play loser and a free pick loser on the site. I, I thought that uh, Florida State was going to blow them out, mostly because Oklahoma State was rebuilt. Their only loss of the year was to Florida State by six. And keep in mind that Oklahoma State, they were a team with a, a, that lost a lot of talent. They had a, a lot of guys coming back. So they're a team that really has a, uh, an upside. So, yeah, with TCU in such a tough spot, with Oklahoma State, a team that had circled as one that should get better as the year went on, we're in 100% agreement. All right. And uh, in, the, in the very beginning of that spiel, uh, I just want to make sure that the viewers know uh, Joe Duffy at one point uh, said Oklahoma State. He meant TCU. And he was talking yeah. about the, the tough games TCU has had uh, recently. Yeah. Said Oklahoma State. Just, you know, that, that happens to me all the time. But uh, we know you meant TCU. All right. And the basic deal is I cannot uh, disagree. And like I said, According to SBRodds.com, uh, plus nine is still widely available. So that's what we can give you for the purposes of this video. But, uh, you know, I'd certainly take it at seven and a half, and I'd even take it at seven. All right, Joe Duffy, recommending a play on Oklahoma State, plus nine. Thanks, Joe. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.